Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, do that thing down below. I was planning to do a trip this weekend, but circumstances have prevented me from doing that. And I'm not sure if the camera shows it and I'll get better videos of it, but my face is kind of messed up. And that's what I wanted to talk about. It involved a cow, a really bad crash, and canceled plans this weekend that I'll get into. So if you're interested to see how my face got to look the way it does, stick around. All right, this video is coming out on Thanksgiving, so hopefully you are having a good time with friends, family, doing whatever it is you do. And maybe if you're watching this, you need just a little bit of entertainment to turn your day around and make things look not so bad um, as this is right here. Now, I am unable to go film anywhere else. You're gonna hear some traffic behind me because I can't get a helmet on right now. My face is super gooey. Um, from losing quite a bit of its skin. I don't wanna pull a helmet on right now because with road rash, it's gooey, and I know that it has the potential to dry to the liner, so if I had my helmet on for a long period of time and went to take it off, my face would probably stick to it, and then the liner of my helmet would be kinda of gross. So, uh, with that being said, I am not going riding this weekend like I had planned. Instead, I'm just gonna to try to film some things here, hopefully keep you entertained. So I do a lot of mountain biking. I try to go two to three times a week. Um, when I lived in New Mexico, it was closer to three to four times a week. I put a lot of miles on. And it's something I really enjoy doing and because of the cardio from it. I enjoy the skills that I'm able to keep up for, for motorcycling. And I also enjoy some of the adrenaline aspects of mountain biking. So I do it a lot. I went up the canyon about 30 minutes from here because it uh, gets me out of the Bakersfield area, which is um, has a lot of poisonous gas. The air quality here is some of the worst in the world right now. And if I go up in elevation, I get clear air. So I headed up the canyon where I know there's a trail. It's not a challenging trail. It basically just, it's a little ribbon of single track that winds its way up the hills. Now I've done it probably half a dozen times or more, and I've seen signs that there are cows up there. I've ridden around a lot of cows, especially on motorcycles. I've ridden around cows on bicycles. I've hiked around cows. I wasn't too concerned about it. I just knew I didn't want to get too close. I was three miles up the trail and the hillside was quite steep. And this trail basically was cutting across the hillside to make its way up, basically a gradient line trail. And I came around and there was a, a slot ravine really steep on both sides. And I had seen a cow there and it ran across uh, the hillside, but it was, you know, 30, 40 feet up, but it was running away from me and then started going up the hill. I watched it, I saw it had a calf, but it was going up the hill. And my experience has been when cows go up, they usually continue to go up. So I wasn't too worried about it. And as it went up, it started working its way back towards the calf. I thought I could just scoot past it. I was on the trail. Once I got close, I would just uh, pedal on and be good. And the cow was, it was a ways up the hill from me. And when I made the curve past, and now the calf is way behind me, when I made the curve past and started heading down the trail, I looked up and the cow that had gone up the hill had decided that it uh, took offense to me doing that and started running straight down the hill at me. And I saw it coming, and as I looked, what ended up happening is my front tire slid off the trail, so I wasn't able to just pedal fast down and get away. I ended up having to bail down a very steep dirt hill. And when I did that, I was just like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I was gonna ride it out as far as I could. But what ended up happening, and I've kind of pieced this together because it happened so very quickly, is I was going down the hill, the cow must have caught up with me or fell because um, as I'll explain later, it was on the ground, hit my back wheel. And when it hit my back wheel, it launched me off of my bike. Now I remember going down the hill and the next thing I know is hitting my face into the ground. It happened so incredibly fast that I had no time to react to it. So my face got smashed into the ground. There was that tremendous thud of hitting and the shock that goes through your body when that happens. And a brief blackout, I wasn't knocked out, but a brief blackout, I popped up and I looked to my right and the cow was rolling down the hill about 10, 15 feet from me, trying to get itself put back together. I immediately grabbed my bike and started running up the hill 
making sure the cow wasn't coming at me. When I look back, it was still down. I didn't give it a lot of time. I trucked as quickly as I could, carrying my bike, rolling it up to get back to the trail. From that point, I was in shock. I didn't really have a grip of what was going on. And I just knew that I didn't want the cow running up after me after that. So I tried the best I could to get going down the trail. Unfortunately, my handlebars were turned this way and my seat was turned that way. So I couldn't ride. And I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on with my bike. And it took me a while to process that my handlebars were out of shape and my seat was going the wrong direction. Once I figured that out, I just turned the handlebars, straighten them up with the wheel, just turn the seat to get it straightened. And then I realized that I didn't have music going anymore. And I felt up to my ears and my earbuds were gone. And then I noticed, and it, this is like 10, 10 minutes later that I wasn't wearing sunglasses anymore. So what had happened is when my face made impact with the ground, it ripped my sunglasses off of my face. And the impact of hitting the ground was so hard that my earbuds flew out. Now, these are um, AirPods, so I really wanted to go back and get those, and I also wanted to get my sunglasses. So my helmet's all pushed up on my head. I'm trying to figure some things out. I uh, slowly worked my way back around, looking for the cow, making sure the cow hadn't came in my direction and I wasn't gonna have to make a quick run for it. When I started getting close to seeing around the corner, I dropped my bike. And once I realized the cow was gone, I couldn't see it anywhere, the calf was gone, I headed down to the spot where I ate it really hard. And immediately found my sunglasses and I had no idea that I had actually ripped off the visor of my helmet, which was laying there. And then kind of had to dig in the dirt a little to find my earbuds, but they were in there as well. Got back up to my bike rode back i knew something was wrong with the uh, rear brakes I, I or one of the brakes i wasn't sure which when i got home i discovered that the rear rotor was pushed over the hub so pushed down you could see that it was bent and warped which the only way that could have happened because i fell to the right and the disc would have been up in the air was that the cow had to have fallen down on it i don't have any uh, big major cuts. I do have bruises, but everything was from me getting launched off of the bike. So I think what happened is the hill was so steep and the cow was chasing me that it fell, hit me, fell over my bike, rolled because I saw it finishing its roll. And that's why the, the back rotor got smashed. Thankfully, I think because the dirt was loose enough, it didn't break any spokes. It didn't bend my wheel any more than it was already bent. So that was okay. I had a replacement rotor. So the results of that, as I got up, you'll see uh, <laughs> a pretty messy face. Is my face had a lot of numbness after that. Just, just from the impact. I took everything on my face and my forearm somehow came down as well. But my face and forearm are, or my forearm's bruised. And of course my face looks pretty bad. It's scraped up, the swelling is coming in. I expect the next couple of days, there's gonna get some black and blueness, uh, probably a, a black eye. I've lost skin over here, I've lost some skin here, so that's probably not gonna look too good in a few days. I'm trying to keep it moist uh, and try to keep it from getting infected. So because of that and the state of my face, and I've got some soreness that continues. Uh, my left shoulder is sore, I don't know why. Um, I've got cuts on my legs and because of all those things, it just didn't make sense to go ride. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get out to do the riding that I wanted to do this weekend because I just can't wear a helmet. My body's still pretty sore. So um, yeah, I just decided to tell the story of how a cow led to a crash, led to uh, a canceled trip. I've talked to quite a few people. I've talked to a lot of people about it and they're like, they've never heard of anyone being chased by a cow. Never heard of anyone getting ran over by a cow. So if you have had any of those experiences, unfortunate experiences, leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching to the end. This isn't the usual type of uh, video, but I thought I would explain what happened to my face and why the next uh, handful of videos are gonna look like this. So thanks for watching. Get out, ride safe, ride safer than I do, and I will see you out there.